boy, if I had a day. <laughs> I mean, this was a day unlike any other in history, really. It started early, like most of my days have lately, long before the sun came up. I remember I'd skipped breakfast. I've been skipping a lot of things lately. I've been skipping breakfast, lunch, dinner. I've been skipping most of my kids' games, date nights with my wife. Okay, I've been skipping church a little bit. But you see, it's all going to be worth it because today is the day. I've got this big presentation at work, and my boss told me if I land this account, I make partner. And once I make partner, I'll be making it, baby. My family will be provided for. It'll be perfect. So I've been working hard. As I get into work, I notice my car is the first in the executive parking lot, and I cannot wait for my boss to see that I was here before anyone else. I walk in through the front gate, and I'm greeted with a friendly, Good morning, Mr. Matthewson. It's, uh, it's Joe. I, you know, I don't even know his last name. I call him Joe the security guard. Hello, Joe. <laughs> By the way, that's me, Matthewson, Daniel Scott Matthewson. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today, Joe? Oh, I'm doing well, sir. Has the Lord been good to you today? <laughs> He sure has, Joe. He sure has. As I board the elevator and press the 42nd top floor button, I hear him shout after me, Remember, sir, no temptation has gripped you, but that which is common to man, and God is faithful. <laughs> A little too cheery for this hour in the morning. As I enter my office, Juanita, the cleaning lady, Juanita, how many times do I have to tell you I need, need my office clean before I get here? Oh, Mr. Matthews, I'm so sorry. It's just every day you come in a little bit earlier. So I come in 10 minutes earlier today, and you're here already. I come in earlier tomorrow. I'm a Christian, okay, so I'm not going to be mean to her. I'll just do the next best thing. I'm going to ignore her and hope she goes away. So I sit at my desk and get to work. And she gets to work too, hand polishing every single one of my family portraits. So as I'm writing, I hear her voice, Oh, Mr. Matthewson, your family, they're so beautiful. Uh-huh, yes, thank you, Juanita. Oh, and your wife, she was so nice to me at the company picnic. Yes, Juanita, thank you. And Mr. Matthewson, I just want you to know that every night before I go to bed, Juanita, thank you. She got the message. I think she wanted to tell me something because she turned before she got to the door, but she must have changed her mind because she just left. Anyways, though, as soon as she was gone, she was out of my mind because I had a one o'clock appointment and all morning people were bringing by their copies of his presentation and putting them on my desk. I sent it off to Kinko's and by 11 o'clock, there it was in beautiful four-color glossy. I love that smell. I had a few hours just to relax. And so I kicked back. I thought about all the things I would do when I was finally making it. And then it happened. Jesus came back. <laughs>